Hey YouTubers, I'm back at you with a, a follow-up. This ain't really fresh, it's just kind of a follow-up. But I know you clone heads, you cloniferous, clonaceous, Chinese clone lovers are with me because I'm one of you crazy SOBs that just loves to check out the crazy Chinese market because they, uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. But it's fun. It's the hunt. It's like, ah, uh, it's, it's, uh, navigating all these stores, all these different sellers, all these different shipping methods and waiting for Christmas to happen once you order it. Cause it's like, God only knows if it's going to be 10 days or, uh, two months to get it. But it's it's an adventure. That's part of the attraction. Okay, you saw my review on this little baby doll, right? Yeah. And I'll tell you what, this is just, I mean, whew, wow. I mean, it is so, so nice. So nice. And you know, I say clone heads, but uh, nah. This is the non-clone clone. And you're not alone when you love the non-clone clone. Wow. It's so, so wonderful. So beautiful. But, 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 but. Just to make sure that the first one was not an anomaly. But dang Gold. It's solid gold. Yes, it is. <laughs> I've lost my mind. I'm, I'm acting like a 10-year-old or maybe younger. So I had to get this one, right? Just to check out the QC. That's the only reason I got this. And to make sure that this wasn't just an accident by being so good that maybe the next one, if it was still as good, then maybe we we're on to something here. That's my excuse. That's a filthy lie. I got this one because I just had to have it. It was gold. <laughs> and I know you guys are, some of you guys are getting those bronze ones, those blackened type bronze ones. And I'm probably going to have to give in and probably do that too. Yeah, stop that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this one really looked yellow in in the uh, DH gate, you know, uh, online, in the pictures. It's not yellow. It's gold. It's gold. Lock up. Oh, yeah, nice and early. Not scary early, but somewhere between okay and scary early. <laughs> it's just enough. It shouldn't be any less than that. And uh, how's the action on this blade? Oh, stone wash. S35VN. Bam. Did you see wrist action in that? Okay, no wrist action. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is... Uh, and you guys... I mean, there's some of you guys already got these. And some got them on order and this and that. But... How can you not be in love? You know? I tell you what, it's 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 eye candy. Look at this, the anno job. Now, do you think they screwed that up? I'm thinking that was a mistake, but it's kind of cool. I'm okay with that. But yeah, Okay, so as before, for those of you who haven't watched my previous video, we got basically a three and a half inch, but kind of a little bit more than that, like about 3.6 inch blade, got eight and a half, just a sixteenth over that overall. Okay, so approximately eight and a half inches overall. What do we get? What do we get? And it's not... It's a sixteenth shy of a half inch across. Nice backspacer. All this is titanium. Milled titanium pocket clip. Titanium 
freaking everything except for the screws and stuff, which are stainless. <clears throat> and you know, when I first got this out uh, of the um, box a couple days ago, uh, yeah, I mean, hmm, it, 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 it felt different when I flipped it than this one. Um, it felt a little different. It had more of a, more of a, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it was smooth. I mean, it was, it was very easy to flip. It was no real problems. It, it didn't have that like kind of silky, mm, you know, kind of just really beautiful oily flow of silkiness, I guess. I don't know how to describe it, but it had more of a kind of a hollow metallic type sound to it. But you know what? And I thought, you know what? Maybe I'm going to take this apart and maybe see if I need to clean it up and lube it, put it back together. And then, no. I mean, I got my Torx wrenches out because it's the same size Torx on here as it is for these, okay? So they were all easy to, to undo. And before I did that, I mean, I thought I'll start with the pivot to try and figure out what the size is on that. And then I figured out what Torx fit that and did those two. And I can't remember the size of the Torx, but so I, I, I do that and I start backing it off, but then I realized I don't think it was maybe in quite as far. I mean, it was just a tad maybe out of adjustment. I, I can't really say out of adjustment because there was no blade play, okay? There was no blade play here. It wasn't, it what definitely wasn't, it wasn't too loose, but it, I, it just needed about a quarter turn tighter. Because when, when I was closing it, okay, if you see this, when I was closing it, it was just, it was dropping into the handle pretty easy, okay? And it wasn't like this. I mean, now, I mean, you got to shake it down, right? Like this one, okay? It's so much fun. It's just a lousy ass excuse to get these knives back on camera. I know, I know. Gratuitous. Isn't it shameful? I don't, I feel so guilty for not, not at all, actually don't feel guilty for doing this. All I got to say is if you're one of these hard ass, I hate Chinese knife type guys, why well, I feel sorry for you. Because this baby is sweet, sweet. And I've handled, oh, don't give me crap. I've handled a lot of American-made knives, mid-tech, stuff up to $2,000. And I'm telling you, I mean, think about like the Riate Horizon D that sells for, what, 400 bucks? Don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. I mean, that's, that's crazy to even say that, isn't it? $82? For this knife, 82 for either one of these. The prices vary from site to site and online app versus just online. I mean, mobile app. Mobile app's usually a little cheaper, but I know it's crazy to say that, but don't make me choose. Part of it's the design, yeah, but just take the skull part away. It's really a beautiful design Stonewash S35VN, very sharp, and no, I'm not going to cut paper with it. <laughs> I mean, I have one viewer goes, oh my God, every time I see you go to cut paper, I start cringing. It's like, you are the worst. And yes, I am. I'm so proud of it. Hey, just because I am the worst and you insultated me, I'm going to do this. Oh, oh, was that thin? Was that thin? Oh, see, I did it twice. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. It cuts paper. Yes, it is. I'm getting better at paper cutting. How about that? Yeah. But, I mean, this knife, uh, backspacer, really the anno on this is really nice. This is an anomaly, I think. I don't think they meant to do that. 
And you know, it's really interesting because I've seen people do these wild speckled anno jobs. I don't know how that's done. It would be interesting and I probably need to get on YouTube and look and see if there's a guy that actually shows how that happens when they do that. Because if you look at some of the other CH knives, they have that multicolored, wild anno job on them. And get ready, because the CH3501 is coming to me. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. I can't stop myself. I don't know how, how you're going to be able to control me now, because I, I just, I can't, I can't get over the CH craze. <sighs> wow. Nice lanyard hole. You know, the backspacer is just slightly elevated. No sharp edges again. Really beautiful machine work. And I do love the skull thing. I mean, why not? Why not? And then you've got all these different uh, texturing and, and colored surfaces. I mean, you got the kind of the raw tie here. You got a dark anno or bead blasted whatever the heck that really looks more anno okay and then the gold so how you do that is i if the gray comes first in the voltage spectrum when you're anodizing something then i guess you'd have to cover that up well i don't know in any case then 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 you go ahead and cover that up and anno this or i don't know you do the whole thing then you mill this out you know, give you something to think about. How's that centering? Oh, sh that centering's perfect on that blade. Pivot's nice, even though it's, you know, you can get your torques in there, it's still an attractive pivot, right? Front and back match. I mean, it's just so many things on this knife that just come together. The overall fit and feel. It's a big enough knife that it really feels comfortable in your hand. See how that is? And even reverse grip is really good. And you got this flipper tab that, you know, acts as a hilt type thing. It's, uh, the jimping is really nice. It's, it's not so rough that it's sharp. Um, maybe for some people it's a little too smooth. Um, but there ain't nothing about this knife that ain't smooth. It, is that a double negative? It is just, wow, it's smooth all the way around. So I'm really pleased with this one because, uh, wow, because it came in so nice. I just took the torx and gave it a little extra kick there just to keep it from dropping, you know, so much, so quick. And this one was just fine right out of the box. If you'll see, this one maybe even a little, a little stiffer initially, but uh, not really. They're pretty much both right now adjusted the same. So yeah, I wouldn't want them any looser than that. And there's no blade play on either of these knives. Did you notice that difference? Hold on. Let me do that again. Listen to see if you can, you can hear them clanking. together. Okay. So listen to the sound of this. Okay. That's kind of just a dull muffled click. This one. It's a little bit more hollow metallic-y maybe um, sound. It's just weird. Uh, it's more kind of a solid thud on this one. I mean, it's just kind of weird how they can be different. I mean, they're both really smooth, beautiful. I don't know. They're good. They're both really good. <sighs> I just thought I'd do the follow-up. And, of course, be shameless in my... Oh, this came with a lanyard. Can you believe that? This one came with a lanyard. Take a look at that lanyard. 
that, you know, and I put it on this knife and then I took it back off because I thought, um, nah, for the presentation purposes, I didn't want it on there. But you know what? That really is not a bad idea of color scheme for this gold. The, the drab olive kind of green and black. Really nice. And you know, I just took the really, I have these really thin needle nose tip pliers. And so since it's a closed loop, you know, you, you got to put it through this lanyard hole. So I took it and I started it off there like that. And then I took one end of the real thin pliers and just grabbed it right in the middle there, kind of, I'm not, I mean, kind of just stuck that in that and then pushed it on through to the other side, you know, and then you put, you know, the one end through the other to make it on there. But yeah, it looks good with that lanyard on there. It's not bad. It's a big enough knife and that's a small enough lanyard. It can look intelligent together. So, I mean, these CH knives, I mean, they're, this is, these are not the only style, obviously. There's at least three different styles, four different styles that I can think of. And I've got another one on the way that's got just that colorful Anno job on it. But, I mean, I think I caught it at a decent price. Uh, it might have been under $80. You know, it might have been under, it might have been around $70, 69 to $72 or something. I can't remember. The CH3401, I think, is what I'm talking about. So go check that out. Uh, that's headed here. It'll probably be a couple weeks. So, But, I mean, it really looks interesting. And if it's anything like these, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Wow. I mean, either one of these. I mean, and you know that bronzed one would be interesting as well. But, I mean, that's eye candy to me. I like the design. I love the color. Uh, I like a little color. Uh, but I think that, that dark and bronzed one that almost looks like a black wash thing would be really that kind of subtle, punk, tough kind of look. These are a little bit more polished and <sighs> ostentatious, I guess, maybe. But... Uh, Man, you can just can you just sit there and watch this shit uh, for a while and and forget about the TV? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sitting there watching TV, but I ain't watching TV. <laughs> I'm playing with my damn knives. Um, these are just I whoever did this, they did great. I mean, just the whole concept of the design of the skull, the cutouts, the different textures, the really fine milling, you know, on these. I mean, my God, look at those, look at those lines of, of, <sighs> that you're, that you're doing on that. To think about all your pivot designs, your different texture and layers here. I mean, these are, these are cutouts milled out, right? So you got, I mean, you got some really fine cutting tools doing all this work that's some effort. And really, it's a classy uh, lanyard hole. I think it cuts through the backspacer, as you can see. And it's big enough. It's not too crazy. And it's not too... Um, it's really integrated into the design of the handle so well. It looks so good. And, and you know, this cut through here. I mean, this nice little machined area. You know? So that when the lanyard comes out, it's not like above the scale so much. It can almost lay flat with it. Because on this lanyard here, they gutted the paracord. Okay, they, they pulled the inner nylon core out of there. So it can lay pretty flat. So it really doesn't uh, bulge out from the scales. I mean, you know, wow. I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe I've lost all perspective on what makes a good knife. But I don't think so. I'm not that old. That is just... Uh, and if you like, you like the titanium frame lock tactical flippers, I just... I... I don't know. 
I mean, at a certain point, you get really good, and and I mean, how much better can you can you really get? How much better can you really really get with a knife to where then it becomes almost imperceptible as a buyer that it's really any better? Because that's what I'm thinking here. I mean, I, I've, I've had a lot of flippers that are a lot more expensive than this. 10, 20 times more expensive than this. And I'm trying to figure out, did they really, there you go. Did they really flip better? Nah. Nah. Nah, not really. I mean, they're just as good. Um, good solid lockup, good material. I... You know, I'm sure, oh, ooh, that was lucky. I just about, um, no, nah, I don't know. I mean, at, at just some point in time, $82 to $1,800, do I get another $1,720 better? It's scary, isn't it? It's scary that you're getting product this good, this cheap. And if you saw that Tucson, Tonto review that I did should have brought it in But you know that is really silky smooth. That's a wonderful little flipper. It's not like these. I mean I understand but I mean for the $42 I paid just and I got a couple more of the Tucson brand coming in and uh, oh, I can't remember. Oh my god right off the top of my head. Was it Brian? Um he told me he picked one up on eBay and I went in and I looked and that seller is starting them at like a dollar and then just letting them go six days. And I grabbed one, dude, just to let you know. I grabbed one for 31 bucks. It's the one that kind of looks like the, uh, like the Umnumson or the, uh, it's kind of got that, uh, Chris Reeve kind of design to it, and it's not a flipper. It's got a thumb stud. I was just going to tell you, dude. Uh, I got that for $31 shipped free, and it's, of course, it's coming from Guangdong or whatever, Guangdong, China, Guangdong. In any case, it's free shipping. It's going to take a while to get here, but I mean, I'm glad I grabbed that because it was like 45 bucks on DHgate, and I got it for 31 free shipping. And it's on eBay, so and through PayPal, and so that makes it pretty pretty cool. Uh, we'll see how quick that gets in. I know he bought one that was the beautiful colored anno job on one of them, so that'll be cool to see. That'll be cool. Well, crap. Hold on, hold on. I'm not trying to mess with you, but yeah, I'm trying to mess with you. Come here. I was going to show you, I'm going to show you exactly, instead of you trying to imagine it, good Lord Almighty, really folks, um, I was going to show you what I got, but no, it's not, it's not this one, it's not this design, although, yeah, no, it's, this is the kind of design that, uh, one of our viewers got, although it's a multi anno job. This is a G10 handle. His is full titanium. This, uh, crap, this is the one that I got on eBay. You glad I'm organized? This is the one that I got on, on eBay for 31 and it's $44.81 here. So I got it for 31 on bid. So you might take a look at that. Just type in Tucson, all one word, T W O S U N knife on the search and it'll take you to a bunch of these and the background's the same so I think this might be the same seller because it's the same ugly looking oh yeah background kind of like this one um that's going on but it'll be interesting to have that uh because it is a very umnumson type of uh Chris Reeve a little bit uh look-alike kind of with a modified Tonto looking end on it but it's not a flipper. It's a, you know, dumb stud. In any case, sorry I got off the, the deal. These are beautiful. I really love them. That gold one is awesome. I mean, right now it's just like, wow, how great is this? Except getting the bronzed and the darkened one. Then you'd have the triumvirate, the father, the son, and the holy God. 
Oh my God. I, be, I Knife people, they just lose their mind, don't they? And they just do crazy shit. And so here I am. I am amongst my flock when I do this because I talk to you guys, you viewers out there, and we have great uh, discussion. And, uh, you know, we're just sharing the fact that we're so interested in kind of the hunt, the find of the wonderful knives that you can get from anywhere around the world. And, uh, you know, because it's not just Chinese knives that we discuss and people, you know, kind of bring to, to light. It's a lot of other things, too. So, wow, this is great. Thanks, guys, for hanging around and, and looking at these. Uh, and uh, we'll see with the stuff that's coming in, the other CH knife, the Tucson. I've got finally one of those Russian Shirgorov knives. I don't know if you're going to hate me for this because I think I got an F95 on the way and I think it's the ice blue thing. It looked good. It got good reviews and it wasn't 130 bucks. It was more like 68 or something. I thought I'd get that kind of mid-grade D2 titanium. It got good reviews and it's a full size. So it's like somewhere between 3.75 and 4 inches long blade. So it's, you know, we'll see. That'll be a little while before it gets in. But yeah, these, wow. Say what? We got to have them. That's what we got. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.